News 19 is your local election headquarters, and tomorrow voters will go to the polls across Alabama for the primary election. Now, they'll be deciding which names they want to see on the official ballot in November. News 19's Emily Moser introduces us to the candidates for Madison County's District 3 commission seat. The Madison County Commission meets here at the Madison County Courthouse every other Wednesday, but who will fill that District 3 spot is in the hands of voters. Current District 3 Commissioner Craig Hill is taking on another long-term Madison County resident, Dusty Yarborough. Our commission works well and there's just there's there's not a reason to change. We have a we have a great team right now. I love a challenge and uh, here's where here we are. Both are hoping to secure the Republican spot on the November ballot. Commissioner Hill said after two terms for District 3, he wants to continue making a difference. We're excited to run on our record. We have continuously improved our communities and we're, we're excited to get to say that and uh, and moving forward we're, we're looking forward to four more years. But Yarborough says it's time for a change. I'm a different um, elected official than what we have and um, you know, just uh, just building that perception back and that trust back. Yarborough has worked for the city of Huntsville as a water treatment plant operator for 24 years. While he doesn't have any former political experience, he says he understands what it's like to work for taxpayers. You know, I'm a small town guy that, that loves his community and loves this district. District 3 includes New Hope, Owens Crossroads, Gurley, Hampton Cove, and parts of Redstone Arsenal. Both candidates agree that infrastructure work is important in these growing areas. My first day in, you know, I'm, I'm putting all my effort into what can we do and let's start paving roads and let's start fixing roads and let's start fixing drainages and let's let's go to work. We listen to our uh, citizens, we work with our citizens. Safety has been the top of our list. Our roads have continuously improved. We're currently excited about the uh, Little Cove expansion. Uh, that's a $56.8 million project. We're really, really excited about being able to uh, improve the travel routes in our district. I have full details on both of the candidates posted on WHNT.com. In Madison County, Emily Moser, News 19. And again, Super Tuesday is tomorrow, March 5th, and here are just a few reminders before you go cast your ballot. The polls will open at 7 in the morning. They will close at 7 p.m. Make sure to have a valid photo ID, double-check your polling location, and lastly, familiarize yourself with offices and amendments on the ballot. We do have sample ballots on WHNT.com.